Hi guys, welcome back to Coding Blocks Junior. I am Simran, your mentor for today, and this is part four of the series Kem Temple Run we were building in GDevelop Five. So in today's part, we are actually going to be seeing how to share our project and uh, how to actually share it in Android and various uh, other options we have for it. And we're going to be ending this levels with a uh, level with a uh, door. So yeah so let's just get into it so the first thing i need to do is we need to go to the player and we need to edit its object variable so i'm gonna add an object variable and i'm gonna name it as has key and i'm going to keep its value as zero right so i'm gonna apply it and the next thing i want to do is i want to add a key add an animation add and I'm gonna go to okay so assets paste back we have a key over here here so I think I'm gonna go with the yellow one I'm gonna apply so the next thing I need to do is uh, the next thing I want to add is a door, right? So I'll add a door, add an animation, and so all of these assets that I'm using are already shared by me on the Discord server with the form link. So make sure you are on our Discord server, and the link of the Discord server is in the description below. So I'm gonna choose this door because it has a keyhole, right? So we need to put in the key and then only we'll be able to do that. So here it is. The next thing I want to do is I want to actually edit our narrow, uh, basically ladders, hitboxes. So I'm gonna go to edit and edit his boxes. So as you can see, these are the hitboxes. So hitboxes are basically boundary. So boundary of a playground, boundary of a house, everything like that. So if these are custom that I've uh, did uh, custom collision mark. So if I restore it, this is the original custom collision mark. So if I do this, so basically you'll have to just click and make the boundaries and then you're done. So I'm going to close it and apply the changes that I've done. So yeah, let's move on to the events now. So we'll add a new group. I'm sure all of you know now how to add a group and why do we add a group so I'm gonna add a door and then the first condition I want to add is when the player actually has the key I'm going to upload uh, update the value of the object variable has key so the first thing I need to do is collision of player with the key okay the action for that I want to be is object variable value of an object variable of player variable as has key set to one okay and i want to delete the key obviously because now the player has the key so key okay and this is done so the next thing we need to do is condition collision of player and the door so okay so and the another condition would be that value of so value of an object variable of player that is has key is should be equal to one then only you can go through the door and another condition i want to add is the score part so we're going to go for the score was a global variable so we're going to go to variables global variable value of a global variable score is equal to, uh, is greater than four then only you can go through the door and the action that i want is i want to change the animation and of player and okay we did not add an animation so the first thing we need to do is we need to add an animation and the animation that i want to add is sure so i'm going to go to the assets cheer one boom 
okay now also you know what that reminder is that keep uh, basically this reminder i'm talking about what is this reminder so you all know this is the reminder with which uh, gdevlop reminds you that the assets that you are using are not in the same folder as your projects so it's going to make a copy of it so i'm going to press okay apply and here we are so i'm going to add a door right over here this is my door and i'm going to add my key right over here just beside the enemy so and the action i want to add is okay wait i think we are not done yet with the animation yeah so we need to loop this and preview and we need to decrease the uh, fps yeah pixels per second that's great apply now we need to go to the objects and now finally we can change the animation of our player to 5 now we press okay let's move these to the group and now let's preview our game and see so let's first not collect enough points right and yeah so this is i got the key and as you can see the animation is not changing so that means we need to make the coins enough so that is why we need to collect enough points what other thing that we can do is we need to first extend this and in new events i can basically add another scene and that scene would be just a screen of saying that you know like game end or game over something like that change the scene okay so and we also need to add a new scene yeah we have a new scene too perfect change the scene to new scene 2 and now let's preview so we need to connect enough coins got it uh oh i died <laughs> that's okay we'll just preview once more and let's hope this is the final one so i'm going to go 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 collect the coin and go 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 and let's hope i don't die yes and let's go to the door okay forgot to add so has to be greater than 4 so we need to collect at least 5 points what am i doing guys so let's collect this also let's collect every coin we have now so that we are able to cross this level right this annoying first level of the game so okay yep got it let's get it and now we need to kill the enemy kill it what the key and here we are so we can just add a text in the in this part that says game over and let's do that you see to add a new object text and let's keep it to 500 and the text would be game over right so bold and i'm going to keep the color to red some whatever that color is okay that's not good so i'm going to keep this color like that apply and okay that's way too big so let's keep it to 300 I think it's going to be fine. So let's hit up review and see. Yep, it's too big. So we need to edit this, and we need to make this two hundred. 
Now let's hit the preview. Game over. Right. Perfect. So when we go to the new scene and then we hit a preview of the project. So we need to collect enough points. Four. Five. Now we'll be able to go through the door. Game over. That's cool. Right, so this is the end of our project and this is the end of our level. Now we need to save the game properly. So what you'll do is control S, the project is properly saved now. And for exporting, you'll go to this export page. And this is the Android part. And basically in this part, you can actually package your game for Android and you can download the package on your Android and you can just start playing. And in the web one, you can upload your game online and play with uh, your friends on your browser. And the actually one we will be using will be Windows and Mac OS. So in this part, we're going to be uh, exporting this as the Windows auto installer file that will be a .exe that is executable file. So you can just play your game as a .exe file, right? So it's going to take a lot of time to actually build and download. You'll just package and so you get actually two uh, builds for single day. So like in this date i i've already used one and i have only one so i'm just going to close this and i'm going to show you guys the uh, the project that i had uh, already exploded right so this is the one so this is the previous version of it that is why you won't be able to see uh dos and etc that we have added in this session so as you can see this is the dot executable this is literally a game so you can play it like that. So as you can see, here it is. So thank you so much for watching this video. And for this project, you will be submitting on our Discord server, as I told you before. And the link to the Discord server is, on our, is in the description below. And thank you so much. And for more fun coding, please subscribe to the channel Coding Blocks Junior. And make sure you follow us on all social media handles. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.